In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this product manipulation design right here with Pixel Lab. So you're going to be getting access to the PLP file, so just do well to click on the link in the description and download the PLP file. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So as soon as you have your PLP file in place and everything you need, so all you need to do is to just import the first thing, which is this. Just make the background, the thin background. So you import this um, here. So after you have done this um, part, just increase the size a little bit is out of the page. Just hold on real quick. Okay, it's back. Just hold on real quick. So you can just increase the size till it comes out from the page. So the size that so it was still one forty two seventy five. So you can ju just increase it and keep on increasing it. It's not even small. That exact size. Just make sure it's around that size. So as soon as it's there, let me just load this layer real quick. So as soon as the the next thing, the first thing is to erase this. Um, you go, go to, click on the um the stadium. Go to the erase section. And as soon as you do that, increase this all the way to the end. And then increase. Let's increase this as first. Let's increase this also. So I'll start here, I'll start cleaning, I'll start cleaning and cleaning and cleaning so I get to the house, this house is added down here so let me just clean that first just keep on cleaning and cleaning and cleaning okay, just take your time, take your time when doing this alright, so, so I think we're almost done we're almost done with this okay, alright just even be yes all right yes so this is it as soon as you don't you're, you're done with this um other area the next thing is to import your second image which should be easy for this tutorial so this is the second image right here so this one will be like this so you can see this house that's there let it be touching area somewhere like this okay i think i see this increase this a little bit okay it's close 127 okay I'll just keep this here. Just keep place this place this here. Sorry, my voice is really low. Just place this here. As soon as you've done that, select the image and go to erase once again. So I'll increase the down area all the way to the end. Increase this top right all the way to the end. And just increase the size a little bit. Then let me erase everything at the top first. Just stop at these edges. Alright. Okay, okay. Keep on erasing. Keep on erasing. Keep on erasing. Alright. So I think that's that. Let's just finish this up here. Okay, just erase this. All right, that's all. Okay, no, that's not all. Reduce the size of the brush. Go to this down area and clean this down area. Yeah. So you can see the, the this down area is actually kind of blur, blurry. So that's because of this. Um, the size will increase for this other for this part here. This is what this um that feature does. It makes the um stuff to be blurry. So this okay, that's all. So that's all. Once you have um, done that, bring this down. Just you know, since they are both bl um, blended in that area, you blood both areas. Just set it here. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Just set this. Let me just set this here first and lock it. And then I'll lock the layer. So after you've done that, the next thing is to import your um, Coca Cola image. So now the size, I think I'll leave the size like that for you guys. So rotate it to, um, just rotate it to 19. So as soon as you've rotated your image to um, 19, all you need to do is just position it. Just hold on. Position it, um, let's see. Okay, just position it somewhere like this. The same way you're seeing on screen. Position it somewhere like this. So now we're going to max it inside that circle that is on the stadium. So I'll go to max. Okay, sorry, let me reduce the opacity first. So I can see. So yes, this is how I did it. Reduce the opacity, let the calculus to be shown, but make the. So you can actually see what I'm going to max. I'll just start at 3. As soon as I've done that, I'll go to max. Where is max? I'll go to max. I'll just. Hold on a second, let me do it on this. Okay, yours will be okay. So I'll just let me if you want to add, I'll add new dots so I can be able to move this max to. I'll select new dots, select new dots, and the max mode is out. The max mode is out. So once I've done that, I'll hold this, push it, and let it. It's only the downside I want to max. So I've got my voice once again. So wherever your tools are, almost now let just move it near the can. Let's start moving to the can. Let me just move it randomly first. So let me put this here first. Put this next one here first. And the next one here first. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yes, you know. Let me zoom in. I'll zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah. So once you've zoomed in, place this to the edge. Just place this. Okay. Let's. Uh, maybe not the edge. Exactly the line. This circle line. That was going to rise into trace. So I'll push. I'll start maxing now. I'll select this. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. If you want to max the particular point, click on where the dot is. You see all these um, additional lines that are coming out. So you just take your time for this um, part. 
after selecting that first one let's go to the second side where our dot is you see you can see the line let me zoom out you can see where the line is the circle that is the, the same cover the circle there so that was actually using sorry let me zoom in and put this on top of the stadium circle so to so to max your second area okay let's, let me zoom out so to max your second area let's okay all right we selected select it just trace it trace it with the, with the stadium line just that you keep on doing let me zoom out and see okay this part is not really fixed let me work on this a little bit do this yes you can see you can see i'm tracing it so that is how you just keep on doing just take your time take your time select this keep on tracing it has come out but i'll trace yes yes that is that let me zoom out yeah you can check my icon increase my opacity back yes this is it it's not really perfect but i'm going to actually leave it like this because of this tutorial you should know already i don't normally take much time that's why it's, you have to practice this on your own hold on i think i actually made yes i can't make a mistake here let me reduce the opacity again so i can see go to max where's max zoom in this place is not really perfect zoom in once i zoom in select this one this place was cut out yes you can see it so now i'll just max this a little bit i think this is okay I think it is okay. Yes, it's manageable. So after you've um, asked that area, the next thing is you need to do is to import your um okay, the opacity of this was reduced. So the background so this um cloud or sky, the opacity was reduced to 66. Opacity was reduced to 66. So this is how it is. Just make sure it's extended out of the page. The opacity was reduced to 66. Push it all the way up. It's the downside we're actually using. So just let it touch right with the end right at the top of these buildings rather so i'll place it to the back to the back 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 and the opacity is 66 66 66 yes next thing you have to do is to import your cloud so this is it this cloud import this cloud is 100 i rotated it to 18 i place i just want the downside to be showing the downside is dark yes this is it this is it. just place it at the top there duplicate it get it let's rotate this back to normal take this back to normal and place it at the top there yes this is it place it at the top there they're in front both clouds are in front so once the cloud is selected let's see what we have next look sorry about this let's see what we have next all right the down area now so now let's do this so i in order to not make this thing very very plain I added a kind of like shadow to the coca-cola itself okay before we do that let me add this simple shadow first so you go to your uh, you see this shadow in um in inside the pop file so you see the shadow there so once once you the shadow is here just increase the size here okay i place it on top here yes let me copy it again i just place it at the back here copy it again and place it at this side here the same straight line now move all these three these three um shadows to the back of the coca-cola so i'm just going to move this to the back of the coca-cola but it's being in the front of the building so i'm just going to move this to the back of the coca-cola the coca-cola is also at the um, front of the stadium so it's the back of the stadium but to the front of all these buildings so i move the second ones i move the second one again so just do that and that's that okay it's not really bad let's see let me select the three and move them down a little bit i've selected three and i'll move them down a little bit is that emotion itself just a second. Okay, yes. Select the three and move them down a little bit. So you can see the difference there. Just as you are okay with the artist. So after I've done this, the next thing is the okay, yes, this around. So now you should not create this um fade gradient already. In case you don't have to do that, pick a shape, a rectangle shape, click on edit. Okay, it's already coming out from the page. Sorry. Pick a rectangle shape. Once you pick that, go to gradients click on the plus icon this first side should be black the second side should be transparent second side in order to do the transparent side click on this icon then any color that you have there just move this third slider all the way to the transparent section again so you can see that it's transparent and then move this all the way to this side so you have this like this so once you have this like this place it exactly to the the same line where the coca-cola uh, where we maxed so the opacity was 51 be 51 51 opacity was 51 so now you can see it's not exactly on the same line so you just adjust that i move this up a little bit i move this up a little bit i think this is okay uh, yeah i think this is okay i would um i'll go to max okay this is already max but let me show you guys how i did it okay it's not really really max so it's not really really max the max mode is out i'll select add new dots to this 
so I'll add new dots, add new dots. You should not add new dots, just scroll down, scroll down to actions and click on the second icon, new dots, see, look at it, new dots are being added, new dots are being added, so that was what I'm going to use. So we're going to max this black um, gradient effect on the Coca Cola now. So let's just let me just place this near them first. I think okay, I think this is okay first. Right, let me zoom in and start maxing. Zoom in, zoom in. Yes, the same way we max the Coca Cola, the Coca Cola to the stadium. We're going to max this um, black gradient effect to the Coca Cola. Place it at the edge. Place the second um, end. Place the second end. Where is the third side? Third one first then let's go to the first first one and trace this very well okay select it and trace this very well okay thanks to okay this part is showing let's do them um, yes let's do this other area this part is not really what we wanted let's do this other area select it Hold on. select oh i'm going over come outside select it Select it and then move this, trace it. Make sure it's tracing the line. Make sure it's tracing the line. I think that's okay. We're not done. So do this for this other side. See the black side is coming out from the Coca Cola. Put it at the edge of the Coca Cola. On the body of the Coca Cola. Put it there. Now trace it all the way down. See now. See it's cutting. So you can see it. Just put it there. Let's be exactly on the body of this stuff. Yes, I think it's okay. Put it to the other end. Yes, this side. Put it to the other end. Let me zoom in. Zoom in, place it on the body, place it on the body now. Trace it, let it let me zoom in again, let it fit with the body. Click on it, click on this. Yes, this is it. Okay, this is it. You can see, click on the check mark icon. Yes, you can see that that dark side is now a bit dark. So if I disable the layer, you see what I'm talking about. Let's look at that. You can see this is it so it's not like it's just without the shadow it's looking a bit old so once that's done just hold on i'll push this all the way back to the front of the coca cola just push this to your, yes the front of the coca cola so once that is done i think that's not ourself that's the like main main thing here you guys can do the rest yourself but don't worry i'll just show you guys um that so yes that's the main thing here the maxing and everything so after after doing this um maxing and everything you guys have to fix your airplanes and everything yourself so i'm not doing that for you but let me do the rest for you. So these ones are just random, random um, elements that I got online. So you can just see this is it. This is it. I just increase this. Place this here. Place the next one. I increase the size of this as well. I place it here. Where's the next one? I'm just you know placing it. Just playing around with all this stuff. Just make sure yours, you know, just fit in. Doesn't really matter how you are going to do that. The next one is this. Increase the. I'll leave all this thing for you guys. Don't worry. Increase the size and place it. There. The main reason why I'm in the rushing this is because I don't want the tutorial to be too long. The main thing that you came here to actually know is the how we did this. The other part, which was the max and all this stuff. For this one, so we just place elements here and there. So I place this at the over the back of everything. Just any how you want to place it, it depends on you. The back of okay, so the uh, front right. So I think that is the main thing here. Okay, now since I've done my own, I said that you guys are going to do your what's it called fixing your happenings and everything yourself. So let me just enable mine. Okay, now I think this building is too, the building here is too high. This building is too high, so I'm going to push it down a little bit. Look at it, yes, I'm going to push it down a little bit. I'm going to push it down, I'm going to push it down, I'm going to push it down, I'm going to push it down. I'm going to push it down. Just look what I'm doing, I'm going to push it down. I'm going to push it down. I think that's okay. Let me see for my design again. Okay, yes, it's around this edge area, yes. So I'm going to push that. I think, yeah, if you have to push it down again, it's the best thing here. Okay, I don't think that's not what I'm pushing down. Oh shit, let me just push this down again. Sorry about this. So it actually depends on you. Once you push that down, you should know that the cloud at the top, the overall cloud, you should bring it down so as well. So you just bring it down. Yes, this is it. Yes, this is it. We have done the. Okay, let me lock this layer that I've not locked. We have done the. Oh, sorry. Where's the parachute sky? So you can see in here now. This is a. Where are the beds? Put your bed anywhere you want to put it. Then create. Okay, not the shape again. Let me create this. So after you've done the everything, create the shape once again. I've shown you guys how to do that. Increase it out of your page. Place it here. Place it here. Copy it again. Place it here. Just um, duplicate it. 
make going to size so you can see the this stuff is actually changing lock boot layers i think there's an there's an airplane somewhere let me look for my design once more to the front there's an airplane okay i then an airplane to the back of everything the opacity is five so see the opacity is five i just increase the size it does, it's not even the airplane is not even showing i just I just showing what i actually did so you can see where the layer is it's on is that the airplane is at the front of the building i mean the stadium and at the back of the coca-cola so that's why i added this is not most this didn't the airplane didn't show when i did this shot but and i kept it the opacity to five so once i did that i'm not going to show you guys how to add text you guys can do that by yourself just text not most i just you know that one was depending on me so i just like you know added the text there yeah, i wanted to add this so so now you can see this is it so i actually forgot to add this glowing effect that you guys are seeing here if you have been watching some of my tutorials you already know how i actually do this now so let me just do this real quick so all you need to do is to select a shape a, a circle shape then go to gradient just run go to gradient select this um gradient function that has this middle one so you should already know again i've shown you how to do this make this part white and this part transparent i've shown you guys how to do that increase the size so placed one i placed one around here i think i placed one around here it's not touching the coca cola exactly but just the tip i'll see for my design again where i place that exactly i placed one around here i placed one around here yes i placed one around here I copy it i copied on that okay sorry this is not moving um okay just hold on copy it i placed one around here you can reduce the size if you want let me just reduce the size just you know near the coca cola i copied one increase the size and i placed one around here yes i placed one around there let me look see my for my design again let me put that top okay now i didn't place one here i didn't place this here let's see i placed one here i placed one okay I didn't place one here, I placed one here instead. Yes, I placed one here. I placed one here where this other plane is. Okay, I can just let me undo this. Let me reduce the size for this. Let me reduce the size for this. Okay, yes, this is it. I placed one here. I placed one here. I placed one here. Okay, yeah, this is it. So you can see the difference that it has added to the overall design. You can see the difference, right? So that is that. Um, you know, that's how I did that. That's the other thing that you guys can address yourself. So if you found value from this tutorial, do it to follow my channel for more, and I'll see you guys in my next upload.